Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Acosta has crazed meltdown over Melania's jacket. Trump trashes him in epic smackdown. CNN's Jim Acosta's level of buffoonery was in overdrive yesterday as he went on several tirades about the back of First Lady Melania Trump's green jacket which said, I really don't care, do you? Acosta was all over it, researching and spinning it to make the jacket some conspiracy only he could solve. Acosta's meltdown was noticed by President Donald Trump who got a good laugh as he trashed the CNN host in an epic smackdown. What does it mean? That's the question which haunted CNN's crack reporter Jim Acosta as he pondered the writing on Melania Trump's $39 green jacket that she wore to board Executive One Foxtrot, which is what Air Force One is called when it's only carrying the first lady or first family members. Like an eagle-eyed reporter, Acosta quickly tweeted out, Flotus Spox confirms Mrs. Trump wore a jacket to visit border kids that reads, I really don't care. Do you? Spox says, it's a jacket. There was no hidden message. After today's important visit to Texas, I hope the media isn't going to choose to focus on her wardrobe. Great, thanks to Acosta, we got that message. Except, it is entirely misleading. The First Lady only wore the jacket to board the plane. She did not wear it to visit the kids. But, what do we expect from the vile Acosta? Not actual truth, that's for sure. Of course, he was implying Flotus was telling the kids that she didn't care. Real reporters and Americans told Jim to knock it off. Tanya Grimsley tweeted, she removed the jacket before getting off the plane. Stop the stupid drama. Reporter Ryan Savage retweeted, a very misleading tweet. She did not wear the jacket while visiting the kids in Texas, she wore it as she was boarding a plane in Maryland. Why did you not make this distinction in your tweet, at Acosta? Now, maybe Acosta should be off to cover some real news since he is the official CNN White House correspondent. Oh, but no. Acosta was sure he was onto some great White House conspiracy, so instead of reporting on real government conspiracies like the Egg Report, which proved James Comey had a cabal of Trump haters investigating both the Hillary Clinton email scandal and the so called Russian Trump collusion, Acosta spent hours trying to find out more about the green jacket. And, he hit the jackpot, or so he thought. Four hours later, Acosta tweeted to let everyone know he has found a Daily Mail article about the jacket. Wow! This guy fails to correct his previous tweet, and then, he doubles down on his lame jacket conspiracy. Acosta tweeted, according to the jacket spotting Daily Mail, the outerwear worn by Flotus goes for $39 at Zara. Okay, so is that news? He spends four hours looking for details on the jacket, and this is what he comes up with? Another Twitter user made a great point after CNN is seemingly convening panels of experts, discussing the jacket, fueled by Acosta no doubt. Harold Sticky Fingers tweeted, more media coverage of a jacket than a celebrity calling for the president's son to be kidnapped and raped. One of these is far more outrageous, but only one furthers the cycle the media prefer. CNN, the fake news network, feverishly put out an article on the jacket and our first lady's fashion choices. You see, they see hidden messaging in everything she wears. CNN reported, the notoriously private former model is intentional about her wardrobe choices, the instantly iconic white hat for the French state visit, her white suit at the State of the Union speech and the pussy bow blouse she donned after the Access Hollywood tape surfaced all sent a clear message. In case you have no clue what they are talking about with the white suits, brace yourself. According to the sages over at CNN and MSNBC, Mrs. Trump wears white because it's the color of the suffragettes, which they deduce is a clear message to her husband that she is a raging feminist. We can't even make this stuff up. The white pantsuit is also understood to be a clear reference to the women's suffrage movement when women wore white to marches as they lobbied for the right to vote, reported Newsweek, referencing Melania's white pantsuit which she wore to the State of the Union. They also said she wore it in a tribute to Hillary Clinton. So, after all this ridiculous coverage started by Jim Acosta, who we know President Trump really has no respect for at all, POTUS decided to clear it all up. Trump tweeted, I really don't care. Do you? Written on the back of Melania's jacket, refers to the fake news media. Melania has learned how dishonest they are, and she truly no longer cares. There you go, Acosta and all the CNN hacks. Did they even think for one moment to connect it to Peter Fonda who had called for her son to be caged with pedophiles? In fact, I do believe Melania was well aware of her jacket, and as a mother, I can relate to how she must have felt. The mainstream media cared nothing about Fonda's vicious attack. They were too busy having meltdowns over illegal kids at the border to care about Baron Trump. 
CNN could have applied maximum pressure with their leftist audience to call for Fonda to be banned from all social media and to be shunned by the Hollywood crowd. Instead, they treat him like a hero. I really don't care, do you? Melania is done caring about what those leftist losers say about her or her family. She's doing a tremendous job as the First Lady, and patriotic Americans don't care what those idiots in the mainstream media say either. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.